this is Josiah Plays Regalia of Men and Monarchs. We just came out of the dusty basement where we fought some rats. Elaine is happy to see us, apparently. How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. We're carrying this and showing it to him, and yet it's also on the wall right here in a really big... Yeah. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Looks like they might have actually cleaned up up here a little. Our thoughts exactly. Ho oh, ho but it's more than that! You can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? Fucking Grandpa. If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. Hey, Brad, how's it going? Good to see you. What's going on? Lurk mode. Okay. Bye, Brad, I guess. <laughs> Rest in peace, Grandpa. Yeah, he's apparently been dead for some time. We need the bearings of nobility. You've already got the attitude. But I can't be running around dusting off Chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. Hashtag whacking uglies. What about me? What about you? I want to help too! Join the team! How about no? <laughs> you said how about no? You can keep cleaning, I guess, Elaine. I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? Oh, she's mad, look at that. You heard him? <laughs> Griffith has got my back. Oh, come on, sis! Why the long face? It's going to be fun! I like Elaine. Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Ho oh, ho ho, but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I don't really, that's why I asked you. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field should you call me to do so. You're called. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Oh, really? Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Here, big bro, I'll show you on the map. Oh, that's excellent news. If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. That seems like it would be an awkward conversation. You walk into these people's place of business, and they're like, Hey, by the way, I'm your ruler now. <laughs> Thought I'd let you know. I'm just going around saying hi to everybody. Just letting you know I'm your ruler. So uh, you might want to start getting some money together for when I'm collecting taxes. And also you have to obey me. So anyway, good to meet you. <laughs> Ugh, mingling with peasants. What exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady, a king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. I don't want to be a tyrant. No, my boy, one cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person, not just a face on the throne. 
You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. This is good advice. This is good advice. I, I agree with Grandpa here. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. Respect of my people. Ah, at last. The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty, service, loyalty. Man, Griffith is really all in with this whole night thing. We shall forge bonds everlasting. This, I swear. <laughs> he is straight up zealot. Uh, yeah. What he said. All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. Let's go then. An agreement is made. Kay and Griffith will handle any issues involving the Adventuring Away team, while Gwen and Ellie will look deeper into the family's past and tackle day-to-day -day administration. First things first, however. It turns out someone's still living in the city's inn. When do I get to save the game? Oh, now I think. Quests have been updated and unlocked a new codex entry. Yes! Okay. Do the tutorials. No, I don't need to do that yet. What I do need to do is save, because I haven't saved in a while. Got it! Still have 56 days left, so that's good. There are currently no active chapter objectives. Quests have been updated. First steps, go to the inn. Apparently, you're not entirely alone in this deserted hellhole. Visit the inn. Time to get cracking. Slowly. It's true that Escalia needs you, but first things first. Ooh, look at all this stuff I'm gonna get. A perk, another perk, another perk, a morph. Oh, that is so good! You saw how frustrated I was with the line of sight with command. Can now be used regardless of line of sight. That's amazing. They're already giving me cool shit. Alright, a rude awakening is done. It's the only quest I've got. Still can't unlock kingdom quests. Alright. Tell me about this codex entry. Oh, I have tons of codex entries. So we already read the creation myth. We already read the long winter. Let's read about Griffith. It's a letter. Was he whispering before? What? What's the days for? We apparently owe a huge debt to these bankers or whatever that was racked up by our family before they abandoned this city and I've inherited it and now I've also inherited the debt. So there's these like evil banker dudes that are like, hey, you have to pay us fuck tons of money. And so it's, I have a deadline to, he said it's going to be divided into, into payments. And so I have a deadline of like 56 days before I have to make my first payment, which is apparently going to be a lot of money, but I don't know how much. It wasn't really specified. Or if I actually have to pay it with real in-game money or if it's just like a storyline thing, but... You only have a limited number of days, though, in this game. Everything you do, whether you go out to adventure, go explore an area, do stuff in town, build stuff in town, spend time with your other characters to develop your personal bonds, anything you do takes up days. So you can't do everything in the game. You can only do certain things before you run out of time and then it goes to the next chapter. Yeah, and I think you can have a game over. Like, if you haven't done enough progress by the time the 56 days is up, I think you can straight up lose the game. That's what, that's what they were saying. When I was watching the developer stream of this on GOG. So, yeah. So there's a time limit in other words, and you have to decide what you're going to prioritize to do with your time. All right, let's read this letter. Rover, this is likely going to turn into one of the many favors that I will be unable to repay you. If there's one thing that was never lacking between us, it's trust. And so, although we are split on the matter, I asked for exactly that, trust. I understand your concerns about the Cadwallon boy well. He's spirited, reckless, and foolhardy. 
A boy like him should care about discipline first and swordplay second, lest he loses his very head. You'd probably mutter that the world needs its cobblers and stable hands too, and I'd probably nod. Probably. But here, for the life of me, I can't just agree. It's not even a matter of honoring old loyalties or reliving my own dumb youth. True, there is little to admire about him, his frail physique, bad reflexes, and shoddy stance. Yet whenever I look upon him, I see the same flawless thing. Spirit. The bright, vibrant light of life, unblemished by cynicism or defeats, pure and fair no matter how hard one gets knocked down. Fighting, like any skill, is about repetition and refinement, but this? This you cannot teach. Hell, I wish my own son would grow to be even half as resolute as young Griffith. Like I mentioned before, I have already decided to take the boy as my squire. All I'm asking for is to give him a chance. Let him study under you for a couple of months, and you'll see I wasn't wrong. Dunstan. A letter sent by Sir Dunstan Loren to Sir Rovere of Moubray. Okay, so Loren, he was part of the family, and he was the knight that Griffiths was squired to when he was young. We're getting some plot here. Hey, Moomba, good to see you. How you doing? Uh, we can also read about Merchant Princedoms of Minway. Codex entry, sum, 230 Dillac. For a musical pipe, one. Silas Haggard. 4,700 Dillac for... 20 bales of silk for the Weaver's Guild of Candelaria. A thousand Dillac for a blue feather for some schmuck. Alright. It's very specific. 1800 Dillac for an all-new stain-resistant scarf. That is an expensive fucking scarf. That is an expensive scarf. Isilda Bowl, Lady of Stag Keep. Returned 1800 Dillac for an all-new stain-resistant scarf from Casilda Bowl, Lady of Sca Sta So apparently, she was not happy with it. Maybe it wasn't really stain-resistant. Under Dillac for a bottle of anesthetic. Yusuf Al-Zasid. Al Forty Dillac for Extracto Action Titanium Tweezers for Yusuf Al-Zasid. Those sound cool. I'd pay 40 Dillac for those. I'm doing all right, Moomba, thanks. 900 Dillac for Dr. Linby's Famous Skin Cream Extra Large Tube for Yusuf Al-Zasid. 55 Dillac for Why Does It Burn Down There? A book. Oh no. It doesn't seem like a good thing to have to be reading up on for Yusuf Al-Zasid. 10 Dillac for bandaging supplies for himself. Monthly income, 7... 1,055 Dillac, standardized profit, 2,380. Comments, conclusions, suggestions. Look into reaching a permanent agreement with the guild. Change the branding on the scarves. Triple the price of the skin cream. Remember to never ask questions again. Ever. <laughs> Excerpt from a revenue and expense ledger of trader Katuf Narani of Minway. All right. We'll see if any of that becomes relevant. What, you know, maybe we'll meet one or more of these characters in the game. Can't do diplomacy yet. I don't think I can build. I still don't have any supplies, so I can't build anything. But there's, you can build stuff in your town. Personal bonds, quests. Nothing in my inventory. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's the first day. Look at them! They're both still day off every day. These two. Lazy girls. Just every day is a day off for them. So he's got personal bond castle today. So I... Theoretically, I could go back in the castle and personal bond with Griffith. But I think I'm supposed to... Yeah, the money's called DLC. Which is pretty funny. So there's a pier. Rolling around is not very smooth. There's the town square. Alright, let's go to the placeholder inn. And meet these people like we're supposed to. 
Geo characters can't participate in battles. Visiting a camp node would allow them to rejuvenate. Okay. This is the place, young master. Alright, this place looks nice. They got some serious kegs up here. Trolling day. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Seems very happy. Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. <laughs> Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? He is kind of a weirdo. But he's my weirdo. Hmm. Gods, Griffith, you just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry, we don't want anything, thanks. By the way, I'm your ruler. Can we speak with the owner? Sure. What do you need? Wait, wait, I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Well, why you gotta assume it's a guy who owns it? Because this is medieval Europe-based, and therefore... Women probably weren't even allowed to own property, I don't know. Yep! And that's you? Yep! <laughs> but you're like... what, 12? Yep! <laughs> All right, Griffith, you win. Lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. I see. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. I don't appreciate Kay and Griffith's sexism and ageism. They have to assume that only the adult man can really be in charge. Why not? Why can't the 12 year old girl be running shit? Greetings. Dude, that guy is unusually built for a fucking bartender. What the fuck? How much does he work out? He probably picks those two- he probably fucking curls those giant kegs. I mean, this guy has officially more muscle mass than he needs for his job. Are you the owner of this inn? He could probably crush our skulls. <laughs> He's a real talker, too. I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I- <laughs> I'm your ruler, by the way. Well, uh, the rebuilding, um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. <laughs> so, uh, the weather's nice, yes? This guy's intense. <laughs> Come on, give me something to work with. <laughs> uh, pretty please? <laughs> oh, for the love of... I won't answer, you know. Oh, who's this dude? Hobo? Nice, I love hobos. He's got a bamboo staff. He looks kind of like a monk. Like a really fucking poor monk. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is his lips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little... intense. Yeah, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people one customer at a time. Gotta name him Hobo. I know, right? It's hateful. And you are? Shichirochi! Or just Shichi. Which war? Oh shit, I skipped what he was saying. I accidentally clicked. Well, his name's Shichiroji. Or just Shichi, that's all we know about him. He fought in some war, apparently, because Griffith is saying which war. Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn in the ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. I like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. 
she cheap. So, you're a bum. Whoa, Griffith, whoa. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. He's a veteran. Also gonorrhea. Wow, more information than we needed, Chi Chi. Way more. I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Reshitul, blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. And rats. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh, yeah? Indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? And rule over you. More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Baz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. <laughs> He's not thrilled. <laughs> well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. Why is that? How so? It's because of the beast! They're afraid of the beast! Ah! Ooh, the beast sounds intriguing. I like me a good beast. What manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? Even Griffith seems concerned. They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? Out of its rear? Okay, that's not cool. Look, I don't mind a beast shooting acid at me, okay? I'm okay with that. Like, that's just a thing I, I've come to accept, and I'm willing to deal with it. But when it's shooting acid out of its ass, I'm a lot more concerned. Because I don't mind having to dodge acid, but if I've got to dodge ass acid, acid, <laughs> acid, get it? Then all bets are off. Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Hmm. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Cool. Now, I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. Well, elves are kind of douchebags, apparently. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Acid are the deadliest. I know, right, Sin? The beast is a small cat. <laughs> That'd be funny. Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Right. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Yep. Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. What? <laughs> oh, it's so exciting! Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories! Right, Papa? <laughs> Predictable response. On my honor! Well then, good luck, laddie! Happy hunting! I'll be raising a mug here, hoping for your, eh, uh, non-demise. Thanks, Chi Chi. Uh, now wait a minute. Okay, quit being scared of everything. Okay, it's just constantly scared. Scared and lazy. Good news! It's not a complete ghost town. Bad news! A terrifying creature known as the Beast draws new people away. Though guided largely by hearsay and rumor, Kay resolves to find and put an end to this Beast. Requests have been updated. Find the beast. Some kind of monster is terrorizing the area. Go to the unassuming glade. New characters have arrived at your town. 
Oh, they're on my personal bonds page now. Chichi Roji, let's see what can we get. Additional fishing. A perk with a, some nice health and resistances. More about fishing. Extra penetration. Hey -o. More about fishing. Okay, he doesn't seem because I don't care about fishing. He doesn't seem like somebody that I'm gonna really waste a lot of time on. Lilka. Baz and Lilka. I like them. Maybe this guy eventually will open up and talk to you. Oh, you get extra money from all sources. Increases relationship point gains from personal bond conversation op options. With what? With everyone or just with them? I mean, you need to weaken. More money. More conversation gains. Extra duration to ongoing effects. Okay, so these two seem like they could be worth getting to know. And of course, Griffith. We'll be getting to know Griffith, of course. Um, can't do anything with any of these things yet. I. So, like, if I go back here right now, does anything happen? Cancel, exit, and undo stuff. All stuff, anywhere. Can I talk to them some more? Anything else in this, in this room? It, huh? <laughs> I can't even talk to him. Whee! Oh, I see. These are the non-voice acted lines. You gotta get that beast, mister? Alright. Go to the town square. What's up, Elaine? What are you doing out here? That's great! Ooh, our very own monster to defeat! That's textbook heroic story stuff! It's a shame that most of those end up with the monster's death, though. Think we could invite it to live with us? I'll try. Foreshadowing! <laughs> oh, that's K. But it's, it's in parentheses, so I don't think he's actually saying it. Doesn't even talk, of course he can't talk to him. Well, I thought maybe I could get a... out of him. That's great! Foreshadowing! Okay. Friendly fire is a thing. Oh, I can go to the pier. Let's see what appears at the pier. Where's my pier? Nothing going on here. This is where you come to fish later once you've upgraded it, I guess. Go back in the castle. That's the bomb bathhouse. Can I just come chilling over this way and see where it takes me? What does this do? The armory. Oh look, it's gone. Is there anything in here I can like loot or do anything with? No. Well, all this stuff is kind of empty right now. I think I have to, like, fix it up and upgrade it and get more going on here. To the town. There's a Griffith. There's the chest that you use to... What does this do? Let's gather your party before venturing forth another Baldur's Gate. Okay, hold on. Oh, great. 
So now we have some vaguely threatening beast to worry about. Uh, yep. Holy cow, these people are so gullible. Oh, I've got personal bond days. So you can you can meet with them for personal bond most days, but they have certain days where they like to go fuck around in other places and you can't meet with them. That's no, nah, that's the that's my sister. I think she's the older sister. The one out in the town square is the younger sister. The Griffith again. On my honor. If that beast truly exists, I say we find it out before it deals any more damage. Besides, nothing lifts men's spirit as flawlessly as the sight of an evil beast slain. Assuming it exists. Alright. Hold on. When I'm out here in the town... There's not actually a way to leave, so I have to go into the castle in order to venture forth to the wilderness. Alright. Now I know. High Horse Princess Sister, yeah. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save the game. Got it! Here we go. Let's go find this beast. So, looks like I can have six people, but one slot is locked because I have to upgrade my town square to level two first, so that I can only have five for now until I upgrade that. And these are all the companions you'll be able to get in the game. Right now I only have Kay and Griffith, but it looks like I can get like ten others. And then out of the ten that you can get, you choose six or whatever to take with you. So that'll be cool. Let's go ahead and venture forth. World map tutorial. Traveling around the Rashtil Expanse. This is the general overview of the Expanse. From here, you can journey between dungeons, event spots, and various other relevant points of interest. Traveling between new two neighboring locations always consumes one in-game day. Entering dungeons will reserve a fixed amount of days dependent on the dungeon size. Should that number be lower than the number of days until a plot important deadline, you will be unable to enter the dungeon. Not all dungeons are available right off the bat. To unlock them, you will first need to complete the preceding dungeons in a given region. Don't wander around aimlessly, though. Time is probably the most precious resource in Megalia. Got it. This is your in-game calendar. Every year consists of nine months, each composed of four weeks, each week in turn composed of seven days. Got it. Wait, do I got it? Seven day week, 28 day month, nine months in a year. Okay. So, here's the map, and it looks like I can scroll around on it a little bit. Some coins and a thing. Scrolling is not smooth. Rash till. Most cities are locked, obviously. Like, almost everything is locked. That's Escalia, that's our home. Almost everything's locked, except for this one place. The Unassuming Glade. There's my party. Nothing exciting ever happens here, really. Days to explore is three. So we're going to spend a day traveling there, three days in the place, so that's going to end up four days and traveling back, that's a five day trip total. 
out of the the few days that we have. So that's that's a lot of days we're using. But let's go. I don't know what those numbers are. Looks like what? There's one battle, one conversation, and one quest or something? Is that what those numbers are on to the right? I don't know. It's Trolls Day. Trolls Day is an actual thing! We've traveled there, so let's explore it. Needs to explore three. This part looks pretty cool. Oh, Dungeons Tutorial, Dungeoneering Basics. Every dungeon contains three kinds of nodes. Combat nodes. These involve battling with the region's unfriendly denizens. Any party members that are defeated during battle will be rendered unavailable until you visit a camp node or leave the dungeon. Adventure nodes. These will engage your party in short, choose-your-own-adventure text quests, some of them granting rewards and branching out into follow- Oh, I love choose-your-own-adventure text quests. Camp nodes. Small free-roaming zones where you can gain bonus personal bond points with your party members, revive KO'd combatants, and save your game mid-dungeon. Got it! Keep in mind that locked nodes cannot be accessed until you have cleared the neighboring nodes. Got it! So I can't go- that's where the... The, uh, camp is, right? And that's where the little adventure thing is, and this is a combat one, so I have to do this one before I can go to these. A somewhat serene spot. Clearly, nothing can go wrong. Sword. Oh, that's interesting. That's good to know. So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... Wait a minute, did you just break the fourth wall, Griffith? It happens now! Get ready, young master! I'm ready! What the hell? Hey, that's not a beast. That's a girl. That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. Whoa. You were saying? She got a hell of a roar on her. On second thought. Another ambush, this time by... someone? Defeat the beast! Alright. Oh, I have to deploy. The wheel of fate is turning! <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. I'm scared. <laughs> she just enraged herself. Activation order. Have, have you noticed that this weird looking lady activated before you? How about we use this opportunity to explain some advanced combat mechanics, hmm? Activations take place in a strict order defined by the combatant's initiative score. While initiative remains a fixed value, there are numerous other ways to influence that order. A new turn begins when all combatants finish their activations. Got it! You can check your current turn's activation order here. Got it! Alright, let me see something. So if I hold down Alt, it shows me... Oh wow, this is good! If I hold down Alt, it not only shows me everybody's health and shields, but it shows me all of their abilities which I can mouse over. So who is this? Question mark, question mark, question mark, the beast. I can actually, she's got 700 health, no shields, and I can see what her skills are. She's got enraged, she just used this. Feels damage equal to Signy's current, oh! I just found out what her name was. She's 
does damage to herself, but she gets empowered and fleet for two turns. Okay. She's got a whirlwind. All targets around her. And Sunders. That seems tough. Look how much damage that's going to do. Holy crap. Counts. Leaps through the air. Ignoring obstacles, which do not block line of sight. Does some damage to targets adjacent to the landing zone. Wow, she's badass. Alright. What's she got going on? She's fleet. She's empowered. She's got bloodlust. Increases all damage done by 5% whenever a combatant is defeated. Alright. Well, it's time to whoop some ass. Command! At your side. Let's go, let's charge right in on her. Not let her, um... Dynamic entry! No quarter! Not let her charge us. Ooh, good hit. Legit hit. The destruction of our enemies, do we earn our salvation? <laughs> oh my god, she just wrecked his shit! Oh, that whirlwind! It took all of his fucking shields and a fuckload of his health besides. You can't heal health. If you lose health, you're just screwed. There's no way to heal it. You can, all you can do is give more shields. Authority points. Shared resource pool, I already know. Which can be spent to use blitz or execute ultimate skills. The party generates one authority point at the start of every turn. Yeah, I guess you can only heal at camp. Castlevania animation series is on Netflix? Really? I didn't know there was such a thing. That sounds cool. No, 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 there's no healer, Moomba. They it told me in the first battle, it said literally, in this game, there is no way to heal your health in battle. It was that explicit. A maximum of 5 AP can be stored at any given time. Combatant can use Blitz after performing their action and enabling them to act again using Blitz costs 1 AP. Alternatively, AT can be spent to unleash a combatant's ultimate skill. However, these game-changing abilities are as powerful as they are expensive. Each use of an ultimate costs 2 AP. Got it! This is your current amount of authority points. Got it! You find Blitz here. Got it! Alright, it's Case. I'm gonna pull yourself together on this guy. Give him a bunch of shields. Because look, he's already, he's already at half fucking health from one hit. So we're gonna give him a bunch of shields. Watch this! That was my ultimate. It took up- I used up my two authority points. And move up slightly. Let us strike! Yeah, let us strike. That'll do 201. That'll do 201. Or I can blind her. Blinding her actually sounds like a good idea. For great justice! The tigers of wrath are wiser than the horses of destruction. <laughs> Time to miss. Oh my god! <laughs> she didn't miss. She can use whirlwind as many times as she wants. I have a strong feeling that she's going to be part of my party, which is cool because she is a beast. Yeah, that has no cooldown. She can just whirlwind every fucking turn. Wow. She's tough. Oh, Castlevania animation series is something new being made? So it's not on Netflix yet. Alright. Let's, um... Give him some more. Right at you! I'm gonna blitz. Not and yet. Throw down the banner. Take this. Let us strike. Now he's empowered. So let's wreck some shit. Pinpoint strike. Good hit. Good hit. Make a stand here and now. <laughs> oh my 
god, look how wrecked he's getting. Good thing we're about to take her down, because she is tearing Griffith a new asshole. Oh, you think she'll be weaker when she's in the team? Like, right now she's in special boss mode? That sounds like the kind of bullshit that they pull in these games. For great justice! Alright, let's finish this. No! You are not allowed to miss, Blitz! Push them back! She still has 18 hit points. Of course she does. Eyes are drawn, the orders are in. Oh my god, I'm down to 33. <laughs> this is this is rough. I'm gonna take her down with the gun. Or not, because I don't have line of sight. How about if I move here? Gotcha. You are victorious, even though Griffith is almost dead. Tab will target to rotate placeables. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win! Oh, she looks cool. I like barbarian, like, feral characters. Especially like barbarian, feral chicks. She looks badass. With the skull and the teeth that's, that's that's like a jaw or something all right yes i win you speak i like him wild yeah i do sin there are no words between predator and prey yes well apparently there are words in defeat our roles are reversed if words are shared it shall be so by your choosing what are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. So in other words, she doesn't believe in boundaries and ownership of I can get with that. I understood nothing. Fucking K. Neither did I. Packs, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. Sounds legit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given, and never force our way. Except for when you randomly attack people. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, many moons that come and go. But the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. I get the feeling that her people are like shapeshifters. Like werewolves or something. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you are searching for your beast. Yes. And this search brought you here. Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Yes. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Uh, the turtle will never take flight. Yeah, true. Huh? 
It is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am... a lord of sorts... of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. Just so you know, I'm your ruler. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Fuck that! She needs to join the team. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. It wasn't a request. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Okay. All right, now we're talking. She comes from a tribe of cannibals. Yes. Sold. You had me at cannibalism. Welcome to the team. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. <laughs> Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now, we all follow our oaths, and hers seems to be of great import. To her, at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No. I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is? The better man. Mm. You're pulling the dead father card. Ouch. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks, yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? Well, you do have a giant lion on your pauldron, so... Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully, it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. Achievement unlocked. Light reading. She's got a point there. I like this barbarian philosopher. Probably shapeshifter. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Is she gonna be eating people in my kingdom? Because that'll be awesome. If that comes up as a whole thing of, hey, she's eating people, you gotta stop her, I'm gonna be like, nope, it's cool. Go ahead, eat anyone you want. <laughs> Just don't eat my sisters. Everybody else is fair game. Fair game? Literally? Emphasis on small? No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I see. Plus, we need to start populating this kingdom as quickly as possible, by any means necessary. Then the boon is granted, and so, I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion, so that together we may fulfill our oaths. That's a great idea, Photon Joker. Give her the job of Gravekeeper. She doesn't have to bother to bury anyone. Just deal with these dead bodies, will you? We don't need to know what's happening to the dead bodies. It's fine. Also, here's a very large container of barbecue sauce. You're welcome. Alright, she's gonna join our pack. I like the sound of that. The duckling and the lion. He's the lion. <laughs> Kay is the duckling. Okay, I like her. She's very correct that he is a duckling. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? Because you're a schmuck. Griffith isn't. I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this'll take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. In a surprising turn of events, the Beast of Rashtil turns out to be a ferocious young woman named Signy. After a confusing attempt to communicate, Signy agrees to aid Kay in exchange for help with her trials. Or rather, her search for a totemic animal. 
With the matter of the beast resolved, it's time to report back to the grandfather. But I want to explore the rest of this place. Oh, I can explore the rest of it. Cool. The quests have been updated. Report back to Castle Lauren. Everything went better than expected. Return to Castle Lauren with the news. New codex entry. Hello. Love me a codex entry. About Signy. Let's learn. This is a Kelra tale. Seven children. Arbron had seven children. Four girls. Three boys. Seven bright stars of destiny. In time they would grow rich in fur and long in step. In time they would join him in the hunt. And the pact celebrated for the future seemed secure. In the end... Arbron was the fiercest of them all. It only seemed natural that his progeny would follow in his tracks. But as seasons passed, Arbron's head became heavy with ominous worry. All Kalra move and sing and fight and live and die. But not all die the same way. Some die marked with failure, and Arbron felt dread. Sadr and Kjallar were his eldest. Their beasts had manifested early. Yeah, they're, they're fucking shapeshifters. And when time came, their summons ringed true. Twice was honor bestowed upon the pack. But the third time never came. There was no guidance, no song, no singular call to obey. The aspects were silent. A Kelra without a beast strikes out of unison. A Kelra without a beast harms the pack. The ancestors had ordained so. Never shall a Kelra return from their pilgrimages without finding the beast. Defiance would invite death, and Arbron knew that. So Arbron took his third child and forbid her to return. Her pilgrimage would continue indefinitely. Your life, he said, is your treasure. Find the beast. Find it, but live. Live. Only then you will reach your meaning. Only then shall you become a Kelra. So she literally has to find her beast in order to ever go back. But that is a different story, and it has not found its ending yet. Kelra tale has, as recounted by an unknown Kelra to Mirian Arlathine, vagrant extraordinaire. She sounds interesting. All right, cool. More codex. New characters will fight at your side. That's what I'm talking about. We got Signy now. She's bad as a motherfucker. Look at her damage, up to 304. More. She's got Kelra Claws. A Kelra needs no implements to prevail. Still, extra claws are always welcome. I don't have any slots, any perks, I mean. Health, 750, 725. Alright, so her health isn't real high. Accuracy is good, though. Dodge percentage is good. Initiative is good. Physical penetration. Uh, Alright, what can she do again? She's got the pounce. The prey is unsuspecting. Good. She's got that amazing whirlwind. I think you're right, though. I think she's not going to do as much damage with that whirlwind on, now that she's on my side as she did when we had to fight her. Wait, that red mist was person? She's got enrage. Always angry, all the time. That doesn't seem like it's worth using. Taking straight up health damage. Savage Roar deals 30% of base damage as pure and applies panicked for one turn to all enemies in range. Always hits. Ooh, that sounds good. Ah, did you really just fucking quote Star Trek? Massacre. That's her ultimate. Costs two uh, authority points. Randomly targets up to four enemies in range. Deals 70% of base damage as physical with each strike. Strikes four times. May hit one target multiple times. Does man become wild if all rationality is taken away from him? 
So that sounds like it would whip some ass if you had a single target. Because you'd be hitting four times for 70%. Alright, so that's Signe. She's got some experience. Everybody's... Oh, man. we got a long ways to go to level up. We still have no items. Let's check out the personal bonds with Signe. Acquaintance. Pounce no longer requires landing spot to be within line of sight. That's good. Whirlwind has its cooldown reduced by one. Wait, what? Does it have a cooldown now? Because it, did, it didn't have a... Oh, it has a two... So she was way better. She was way better when you have to fight her as a boss. Now her Whirlwind has a two-turn cooldown. Oh. Sadness. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you're watching the stream, don't go anywhere, because I am not done playing. If you're watching on YouTube, that's all for now. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays Regalia of Men and Monarchs.